Hey everybody, Ryan Jordan, Internet Consultant here. This is uh, part two of how to load an ad or an order into the DFP system. So very quick review. You've clicked on the order tab. You've entered the name of your total campaign, uh, the company name, uh, who you are. And then we're going to begin to add a creative to this campaign. So if the campaign was Ryan Dorn test campaign, I can actually load multiple line items, multiple creatives. Okay, I can also assign multiple banners to one particular campaign. So you've got the total name of the campaign. Okay, you got line items within that campaign, and then you can also add multiple campaigns to a particular advertiser. So we're just going to focus on having one banner ad loaded. It's a red Ryan banner, 728 by 90. I've added some comments here. Okay. Again, we have two choices. Well, we have more than two choices. We have several choices under delivery options. Right now, we're focusing on sponsorships or standard. Sponsorships allow you to choose a percentage of the total ads that are going to be served for the month. Okay. And then uh, standard allows you to choose how many total impressions you want to have served. There's a start time and an end time, okay? And we want to display the creatives. I'm choosing only one creative from the campaign at a time, okay? And then it's going to rotate evenly with everybody else. At the bottom here now, don't just click Save. We want to click Save and Upload Creatives. Most of the time, you're only going to have one creative, one campaign per customer. Um, but, this, I mean, DFP is so unbelievably flexible. It's got so many great uh, options. So let's browse for our banner ad right here, Browse. And uh, let's go find a 728 by 90, and let's click Open. It's going to load it up. Now, this is where you can change the name if you want to. Okay, remember, you can't have two uh, banner ads loaded with the same name. Also, you want to make sure there's no spaces. You guys have to stop with the spaces. Okay? Now, where do we want this to go? Let's just say we want this to go to ryandorn.com, and then we can click Test. Make sure it's working. Okay, and it looks like it's going to work. Okay, it does work. Now, remember something. You might get some errors when you type this in. If you have a space before the HTTP, you must put HTTP before it. Um, you might have an error if you put some funky stuff after the .com name. So just kind of be careful on that. All right, let's click Save. All right, now we have to approve it. We can leave it loaded, but we have to approve it. Okay. If we want to change any of the settings, we go here to the Settings tab. Okay. If we want to change anything, let's go ahead and approve it. Now, many times it's going to give me an, uh, an error like this. Impression counts will appear in one to two weeks. For those of you that are new, okay, this will go away eventually as DFP knows how many ads you can serve. It's going to track your traffic. So it's saying it can't guarantee me that I'm going to get right here 25% of the total impressions. It just doesn't know how much traffic you're going to get. So after a few weeks, um, that typically will go away. It also, though, is going to give you a warning. If you make this number too high, it's going to say, hey, you don't have enough traffic for me to serve that many ads. So let's click Proceed with Caution. And then we're going to then uh, go forward and click Approve. Now, sometimes if you decide to go back into a campaign, you'll have to click Save. Okay, so here it is. Here's my banner ad. It is ready. It's a sponsorship. It's going on the web. Start time, end time. My goal is 25% of total impressions. Now, if I want to see all the orders I have in progress, I can click Orders. And then what we're going to do in our next video is we're going to actually show you how to alter an ad. So here it is right here. Okay, We're going to actually show you how to alter an ad that you already have in the system. So that will be a part three of loading and manipulating ads in the DFP system. So let's click on and go on to part number three.